Okay, if you look at line, take off runway. One second full length confirm. One second full length confirm. Cabin crew. Advise. TCAS. Cherry. Engine motor selector. Normal. Max. Off. Before takeoff check is completed, approach is clear. And we are clear for takeoff. Yes. <coughs> Ready? Ready. Landing gear, up, flaps, retract, backs, on, down to the line. Autopilot to engage, you have control, I have communication. Thank you, I have control, you have communication. Hello, uh, Kuwait 791, localized at 17. My name is Ahmed Mustafa and I'm from originally from Pakistan and I've been in the company in Arabia for the past uh, four years. Uh, today we're uh, flying the Airbus uh, 320 and I'd like to give you a nice uh, brief uh, introduction to our instrument system. If you see here on the uh, right hand side, uh, we have the two primary uh, uh, the display units, which for the first one is called the PFD, in short form is called primary flight uh, the uh, display. And the, uh, on the left one is the ND, which is the navigation display. On the right one, it's uh, basically, it takes these six basic instruments of flying and combine into one, uh, which on the top here, it gives us the information regarding like which mode of operation it's uh, using, which is here on the first one, which is based on the auto thrust, which, uh, which is using on Mac because on higher level, we fly uh, decimal percentage of speed of sound, which currently we're flying on decimal Seven, seven. The next one is uh, uh, tells you about the altitude. On the right hand side, if you can see, the, uh, it's the um, altitude display corresponding what's on the second height. It's showing alt cruise because we are currently now flying on our cruising altitude of 37,000 feet. 
Uh, the next one on the nav, it displays on our uh, lateral uh, navigation, which is on the left-hand side on the ND, it shows our green path, which means that the autopilot is uh, following our current flight plan, which we inserted on our FMGC here, which is uh, then made from uh, our dispatch on the computerized flight plan. So basically, we just monitor how it works and uh, how the, the autopilot is working, and uh, we just hear that it doesn't make do uh, any mistakes. On the right-hand side, on the fourth column, it is the uh, approach, uh, approach mode. So what it means is that any time we press the approach mode on the flight control unit, here, uh, it gives us the autopilot to which type of uh, instrument landing are we supposed to do on based on uh, the facilities uh, on the airport. On the right hand side, the last one on the right, uh, it shows on the information regarding like which system is working. So here the AP2 means autopilot 2, which and we have two autopilots depending on which uh, pilot is flying. So currently uh, I'm the first officer, so I'm doing this sector back to Sharjah, so I've selected Autopilot 2. 1FD2, FD means flight directors, where you can see it is these two green bars, which provide the, uh, the altitude and the bang angle for the flight. Right now, it's straight in line, so we're flying straight um, on the over the horizon. The last one here is the auto thrust, that means the, uh, the thrust system which is the, the true thrust levers here, are working by the, uh, the computers automatically to adjust our uh, thrust in order, the thrust over here, in order to maintain a constant speed or a Mach, as I briefed you at the beginning, which now we're doing decimal 7, 8. No. So the top one has been uh, finished. I'll start with the uh, from the left, and I'll work my way to the right. So now the first one on the left is the uh, speed scale. Uh, right now, as I said, we're doing decimal seven eight, and uh, this magenta triangle means that the uh, the speed is controlled by the airplane itself. So if we needed to control the speed by ourselves, we just have to select the speed and move it up and down, and this magenta turns into blue. And this yellow straight line indicates like which current speed we're doing. On the top, we have the uh, the red bar, which indicates the if the speed goes into overspeed. On the lower is the uh, if the speed gets too low, then we have uh, indications for uh, low speed warnings, which can turn result into uh, stall configuration. On the center, it is we have the uh, horizontal uh, dis uh, horizon display which uh, I've already briefed you on the, uh, uh, the flight directors, which is the green ones. The, the brown area represents the ground, and the blue one represents the sky, as you can see outside. It is exactly the same. And these numbers on the right represent at what pitch altitude we are. It is uh, intervals of uh, two and a half degrees. So right now, this small tri uh, square is on the first bar, which is two and a half uh, pitch up. Up means which is a little bit upside from the horizon. On the top, we have the bank angles, and the the, uh, the first and on the indications on from the left to the right represents the uh, how much degrees the bank uh, airplane will bank left and right represent uh, respectively. Coming coming here on the bottom, we have a small scale which is represents the uh, heading. It's like depends like at which uh, true heading are we are proceeding on at the moment. Uh, the first one, which is the uh, the yellow one, represents our uh, heading, which is of 089, and the tr uh, triangle uh, diamond, uh, green uh, diamond, represents our uh, true heading, corrected for the uh, speed of the uh, the wind, which means like if the wind is blowing from the right, we have we have to be a little bit on the left so you can compensate to proceed straight in line, which is called also the uh, track. On the right-hand side, we have the uh, altitude uh, scale. I already gave you a brief introduction for that one. And on the right is our vertical speed indicator, which um, allows us to know at what, um, at how, how much rate are we climbing or descending based on feet per minute. These indications represent in uh, thousands of feet. So one over here means 1,000. 
two means two thousand and etc as it goes up six to six thousand so if the vertical speed this uh, small uh, uh, green line if it goes up that means we're climbing and respectively if it goes down it means we are descending now coming on the uh, the left uh, display which is the nd i'll start from the uh, top left and i'll continue on a clockwise direction to uh, let you know what it is on the left it represents what is our current speed based on nautical miles per hour the GS which means the uh, ground speed it is 515 uh, nautical miles per hour and on the right is the true airspeed which is corrected for the uh, uh, I'm sorry with the, uh, the ground speed is corrected for the uh, the wind speed for example if our uh, if we're normally moving at uh, the true speed of 445 and we have a speed speed which is of the wind coming from behind us which is pushing us at 78 knots that gives us an equal of 5 one six of the uh, ground speed coming on the right it, it, it displays on the uh, the waypoint we are flying at so this Juliet Bravo Lima represents the current waypoint we are flying so if you see our airplane is like this this in this green path is proceeding to our waypoint and on the right it gives you the uh, information regarding the uh, at what uh, heading are we flying 085 and if you see between the both 8 and 9 085 comes right in the middle 3-1 means that the distance from our airplane to that uh, waypoint, so that's almost 30 miles coming. And if you see here, which is the 30 and the arc, that corresponds perfectly for 30 miles. And on the right, the last one is 131. It represents at what time we're going to reach our waypoint. Coming down on the right, our this minus 2.3 degrees it's uh, what it means is that our weather radar is on and it's scanning at uh, approximately two and a half degrees straight and then down from our current altitude to to uh, detect if there's any weather in front of us and since everything is showing black here that means that uh, for now there's nothing uh, significant weather affecting our flight on the bottom right we have uh, these two over here on the uh, bottom corners we have the uh, the uh, na uh, the navigation instruments which is either the selective VOR which is the omnidirection uh, very high frequency omnidirection radials or we can switch over from here to and ADF, which is only one direct frequency. So, from here, from two, we can we can select either on the left or on the right which uh, navigation instrument we can be uh, tuned to on the on the ground. So on so on here, here we have selected VOR one, and on the right I have selected ADF, which corresponds the same on the ND. VOR1 and ADF, which means that they are automatically tuned on the uh, the instrument which is uh, currently uh, down there. For now, it is tuning 112.9 and uh, it's not showing any distance because it might, might not be calibrated for the distance or we are too far away. And it's the same thing on the left hand side that both of them are tuned on the same frequency. And on the left here, the small one, there's a one hour nine minutes. It corresponds to how much time has it been elapsed since we started our takeoff run. And we usually turn it off right after touchdown. The scale here, uh, the semicircular represents the heading scale. As you can see for the time being on the heading, it, uh, the yellow bar represents the heading of 089 on the track of 085. And if you continue, if you bank to the left, we can proceed, uh, go on a heading of 080, 070, and etc. And it's the same thing if you turn to the right. These small diamonds represent the other airplanes within 80 miles from our current position. So for this one, for example, it is represents an airplane which is 1,000 feet above our cruising altitude. So that means that he is flying at uh, 38,000 feet opposite side. And it's the same 
same I hope. Well, we cannot see with this so otherwise anyway for the magenta it represents the uh, airports nearby our position all these Oscar Echo Delta Fox Echo Romeo uh, Tango and all these represents the uh, the airport which is are already in the database of our FMGS on the big uh, navigation uh, database on the FMGC And all these informations are taken from the uh, uh, the main display, uh, the big system that we have here, and which is periodically changed every 28 uh, days, which means that it brings us uh, up to date on the latest uh, airports, if any changes regarding the routes and the uh, the airports. So this was the uh, quick brief regarding our uh, instrument display. Uh, of uh, how we, uh, what we see, how we manage uh, during the whole flights every day. Thank you. Seven five sent to one one thousand. Contact Dubai one two six two. One one thousand Dubai one two six two. Uh, bye bye Arabia one two five. Okay, set QNH please one zero one eight. QNH one zero one eight. Set Croce passing fourteen thousand eight hundred now. Checked. Pro checklist please. Briefing confirmed. Camp status checked. Sitters on. Battle left. One zero one eight set. One zero one eight set minimum. As uh, three twenty set. Three twenty set. Okay, Engine motion left. Normal. Project is completed. Thank you. Climb level two three zero. No delay through one five zero. Scattered by two five one. Uh, Dubai. Good evening, Arabia one seven five. Passing one four zero. Descending one one thousand. Maybe one seven five Dubai approach. ILS three zero Sharjah. Dubai can H one zero one eight. Free speed. Descent altitude eight thousand. 8,101863, Kobe Arabia 175. Arabia 175, just an altitude 6,000. The big company, well, actually an Airbus 320, not company, they coming off in the loop. Uh, that's uh, Kobe 6,000, Arabia 175. Okay, VS 1,000, 6,000 blue. <coughs> and Arabia 252, sure. any chance for a direct evade for a visual? Arabia 252, there's one departure, fly heading 200. Heading 200, Arabia 252. Qatar 1059, divide departure identify, climb unrestricted 5000, free speed. Unrestricted climb 5000 feet, free speed, Qatar 1059. Arabia 252, contact charge the tower, woman 8 decimal 6, good day. 86, Arabia 252, thank you. Bye. And out to uh, Old Star, if you can please activate the approach phase. Approach phase is activated. There is one departure now. Yep, thank you. It's the Qatari that took off. Yeah. I see him up there. All right. <coughs> All star. Check. Arabia 156, free speed, descent altitude 8,000. Free speed 8,000 feet, Arabia 156. It's okay, select 225. Check. Arabia 175, descent altitude Check. 2,000. 2,000, Arabia 175. 2,000, blue. Okay. okay, we're ready for base. Arabia 175, um, anytime ready for base. Arabia 175, turn right heading 210. Right, 210, Arabia 175. Okay, heading 210, check. Uh, yes, please. Direct. Thank you.
Hey, flaps one piece. Hey, check. Stay there, no changes. You move status? Remove status, please. Thank you. Hey, run inside. Ready 175, turn right heading 270, clear at ILS 30, report established. 270, clear at ILS 30, call you established at ILS 175. Okay, Gods of Bullock Blue, Cat 3, do a lot about it, 1 and 2. Lost sure. star. Ready one seven five. Contact Charger Tower. One eight decimal six. Good day. Eighteen six. Good day. Ready one seven five. Ready one three four. Charger Ground. Good evening. Thank you. Hold Bravo one four. Question. Stand by for your clearance. So I'll call you back. Tower. Good evening. Ready one seven five. Seven miles final. Localizer three zero. Uh, the 175 Charger Target Evening, runway 30, says it's been 320 degrees, 5 knots, clear to land, QNH 1018. 1018, clear to land, 30, Rabia 175. Okay, glass of star, Mr. Proces, 2000. Gear down, please. 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 Three to Doha via CZ2 Romeo after departure 1262 and score 3415 out of the 134. Maybe 134, you read back is great. Can is 1018, information Fox truck current, report ready for push and start. Maps 3, let's call you for push and start. We have QNH 1018 and we request Bravo 14 for departure out of the 134. Coming through, advised. Auto Auto brake. Low. He come in. Landing no blue. Landing checklist completed. We are clear to land. Thank you. To see behind company traffic, line up and wait, runway 30, Bravo 14 behind. Behind the landing traffic on final line up and wait, behind runway 30, Bravo 14, Arabia 123. Charlie Ground, Arabia 736, 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 Tower Arabia 387, ready in sequence. Ready 387, Charger Ground, correction tower, very good evening. In sequence to company traffic, line up and wait, runway 30, Bravo 14 behind. In sequence, line up and wait behind, Arabia 387. Arabia 116, uh, good afternoon again, uh, Bay 6, information, uh, copied, QNH 1018, ready for push and start, Bravo 140, departure. Arabia 116, Charger Ground, good evening, from stand 6, start push back approved face east, copy Bravo 14 for departure. Push back start approved face east, Arabia 116. Land. Check. 100 above. Minimum. Continue. Supply slow. The ground electric dispersion completed for the moment area. Thank you. Thank you, electric tip. Bye bye. Alpha stand 75, Arabia 175. Arabia 175, check to stand, stand 5. Stand 5, confirm Arabia 175. Arabia 175, monitor ground 120, 1875, good night. 2875, Arabia 175, good night. Arabia 123, runway 30, Bravo 14, clear takeoff, citizen 320 degrees 5 knots, good night. Clear for takeoff, Arabia 123, good night.
100 above. Minimum. Retard, retard, retard. 